So in this video, I wanted to spend a few minutes talking about this Super 5 Rollerball Pen. This is a rollerball that uses fountain pen ink. Sometimes those are called cartridge rollerballs or refillable rollerballs. I've talked about them a few times on this channel before, and they happen to be a type of pen that is not very popular and also one that I'm quite interested in. So whenever I see one, I, I tend to buy it. Super 5 is not uh, a brand name that I'm really familiar with. I know they make a couple fountain pens that I've seen some people talk about, but this is the first one of their pens I've picked up. They're available on a few different resellers online like Amazon and a few others, or at some local art stores I've seen people talk to, talk about, and it costs about 20 bucks. So it's on the expensive side, so keep that in mind. So this is a rollerball, as you can see. It uses a standard international short fountain pen cartridge, and that's this little guy right here. Alternatively, you could see it right here. Whenever you see two standard international short refills like this or cartridges, then you could also accommodate a standard international long, which is basically uh, two of these put together into a long refill. The, uh, that's nice because this is a universal size. It's very popular. A lot of manufacturers will use this size in their fountain pens like Rotring and Waterman and a number of others. So these refills are very easy to find. So you can get all sorts of great colors in a cartridge without having to refill your cartridges manually. But uh, that's easy too if you want to do it. So as for the pen itself, you can see it's all plastic except for a black metal clip. The clip is nice and sturdy. It actually works really well. It has a curve here, which I really like. It makes it look cool, but actually makes it work really well. The uh, pen is very simple, all hard plastic with no real embellishments except for this logo, which has Super 5 on it, it's printed on, and no other sticking stickers or branding. It's, it's very like low key, uh, almost like uh, the manufacturing was like sent out to a third party or something like, like that. It was, just, it was very, very simple. And I don't know anything about Super 5 as a company, but it's, when you hold the pen, it feels nice and it's well done, but definitely doesn't have the level of polish or sophistication as some of the other pens in this category that sell for much less. And I'm talking about the ones from Stabilo and Schneider and, and things like that. So the body is all hard plastic. As I demonstrated before, the top comes off. Uh, not really clear what functionality this serves, except this prevents the refill from ever getting caught in the top, right? It could like, if it kind of suctioned in the top, that secondary refill might uh, get caught in there. So this way it prevents that from happening, I, is my guess. I don't know what other function it would have. But this screws in, this piece, the uh, grip is a hard rubber. It's uh, wider at the top, tapers down, has a little bit of a flare here. And then you can see it's a pretty standard rollerball refill. Uh, this piece is not replaceable. With many of these cartridge-based rollerballs or rollerballs that use fountain pen ink, the rollerball component is replaceable. And that really, the piece usually costs $20. So having it replaceable on a $20 pen clearly doesn't make any sense. But the reason it's replaceable is that the ball in here is done with a very close tolerance to the exterior that like... Uh, cone-shaped piece or the uh, the piece, the surrounding piece. And because this uses a very watery ink, sorry about the focus issues, uh, this uses a very watery ink. So the tolerance between the ball and the housing has to be very tight. As you write, the ball wears down a little bit within the housing. And usually they say after about 20 refills, the ball will be shot and the pen will start leaking, which means this pen has a definite lifespan of... Uh, you know, 20 or so cartridges, give or take. I haven't hit that point. It hasn't been leaking, even though I've gone through a few cartridges with this, but you want to keep that in mind before you start pointing up that 20 bucks. You can post it. So that's really nice. And it's actually very nice posted. I tend not to do it, but this one has a really deep, deep fit and it makes the pen uh, quite comfortable. I like it both ways, but it's quite comfortable. One of the things to keep in mind with this pen is that it's a full-sized pen, whereas a number of the cartridge-based rollerballs are very small. 
like the very popular one that I've recommended that I like a lot from J or Bean, uh, that's a very small pen. It's undersized, it's like a portable size or something. And it's really basically too small to use unless it's posted. Whereas this Super 5 is a full size pen. The J or Bean uses a very similar rollerball component. So it writes about the same. This one writes a little bit better. We'll get into that in two minutes. But that one's undersized. So that one sells for like 12, 13 bucks. This one sells for about, uh, in clear, I wanna say like $20 and in black, it's a little cheaper. Maybe like, uh, I mean, this one's about 22, 23 and in black, maybe it's like 20. So the point is, it's a full sized pen about comparable to the size of a Sharpie, which is a pretty standard pen. This piece unscrews, as I mentioned before, and you can see it has nice coarse threading, so it's very easy to take on and off, but it's all plastic on the inside. This piece is rubber and the rest is plastic. The pen has basically no metal in it aside from the clip and the, the writing parts. I don't know if the rollerball component is like a universal component, like as if Super 5 used someone else's, uh, you know, maybe something made by Monteverdi or something like that. that I have no idea, they don't talk about that, but it works well and it hasn't leaked. So, so far it's pretty good. And now let's get into the writing section of this. I'm using the, uh, I'm using the Schneider, uh, I'm, I'm blanking on the name, the Schneider Blacking, very standard, uh, very good black fountain pen ink. It's very utilitarian. I've been using it for all the testing lately just because it crosses over from brand to brand well. It keeps that portion of the review as uh, as consistent as possible. This does include a single cartridge that uses pigmented ink because I'm pretty sure it's aimed at people that want to use it in and around or like around water. So the pigmented ink doesn't run. It's good for artistic purposes. So this is the Super 5 Rollerball. I think I mentioned this before, but if you were to unscrew this piece and put in a fountain pen tip, it's essentially the same pen. That's why so many companies that use, that have refillable rollerballs also sell fountain pens in the same model. And this Super 5 is no different. You could buy it as a rollerball and it's a medium rollerball, but they don't say it's medium because there's only one of them. They don't sell sizes, uh, but you could buy it as a rollerball or you could buy it as a fountain pen. And the company's name is Super and then five next to it. And this is the rollerball. You can see it's a nice, generous rollerball. It writes uh, more like a 1.0 millimeter than a 0.7 millimeter for most brands. It's, you know, it's not quite as heavy as like a uh, Pentel LR10, which is their 1.0 millimeter refill. And it's not quite as heavy writing as something like the, uh, uh, a V-Ball 1.0 from, you know, Pilot, a Pilot 1.0 or G2 1.0, but it's pretty close. The nice thing here is that you could use a fountain pen ink, which is uh, a little lighter and more watery. So uh, a little bit, some people like it better than a rollerball ink, which tends to be a little bit gummier and thicker. These ones flow really nice and smooth and uh, dry times won't be as good as like a gel, but dry times are definitely pretty good. And that's gonna vary a lot based on your paper. This is a kind of a shinier, glossier paper. So there's the lines. It's like I said, it's like a 1.0 millimeter line. And that's gonna vary a little bit. When you first get this pen and you start using it, it'll, it'll write a little bit more on the fine side as that ball that roller ball breaks in, it will expand out a little bit. Uh, the downside of that is eventually, I'm pretty sure it will start leaking, uh, but that hasn't happened and I've been through a number of cartridges here. So that's a good sign. So that is the Super Ball refillable or cartridge style roller ball pen. I really like it. I'm always interested in finding a new <laughs> refillable roller ball pen because it lets me use my fountain pen ink in a roller ball. Day to day, I tend to grab roller balls and gel pens for my note taking, but it's fun to be able to use that with a fountain pen ink because there's so many amazing inks out there. And I think as a people, yeah, as people interested in pen, pens have pointed out many times, you tend to collect inks over time. You just, you cannot keep up with uh, your purchasing. The uh, downside of this pen is that it does cost $22, $24 around there, even from Amazon and other places. 
So it's not cheap, uh, and you could buy a Schneider or a Stabilo roll, refillable roller ball that's just as good, if not better, for less. So you want to keep that in mind. But uh, generally speaking, this pen, it does a good job and it's a lot of fun to use. But I'm not sure I would recommend picking it up because there's so many good options for, uh, you know, maybe like half the price, like 12 bucks. So that's it. Super 5 refillable roll ball. Thanks for watching.